When I look back at what's helped me become the man I am today, it's education. I know that he came out of a really challenging background. And like myself and many of the kids and students that we work with was a child of poverty. His mom was really young when she had him at the age of 12. So he kind of got to grow up with his mom. Which has been really a blessing. We're more like friends than we are mother and son. Yeah, I remember going to school with her. She actually finished high school and everything. Having me, have me at such a young age, I was really, still really impressed about that. Actually, he really didn't have his dad in his life for a very long time. Uh, so he was kind of fatherless. Grandma was like, she was like a second mom to me. She's definitely where I got my heart from. She used to tell me that the best thing that you'll ever do with your life is to help someone else. So, and I kind of carry that, kind of carry that and try to live by that because she showed it. I uh, grew up in a household of 18 people. There were 11 kids. My grandma kind of took over all the grandkids because drugs and alcohol and prison ran amok throughout all of her. You know, I've touched almost every, every one of my family members' lives in some way or another. So I guess what kind of was expected of, for me, you know, was that I would end up there. I was kind of headed towards there for a while. When I was about um, 14, 15 years old, I started using meth, and that, that grabbed me and didn't let me go. And he talked to me about, you know, becoming a part of the system and having his children taken away and doing the very hard and painful work of doing what he needed to do to get them back. And that was just the breaking point. We went to rehab. We found out what our disease was doing. We found out who we were on our own. So we kind of got a sense of identity. He hunted up every possible service that was available to a person in his circumstances. We went through family counseling and couples counseling and individual counseling and parenting classes together and it, th those things really helped. Education has been probably one of the most powerful forces for him. I got to learn how to come and be punctual somewhere every day and to show up for my life. Chico State's allowed me to do that. I mean, to become a man, you know. Having had people I've loved in my life who have struggled with substance abuse, I think the fact that Tim overcame his demons in that area of his life is incredibly impressive. I want to see this transformation occur for more people, and I really believe that through Tim, more people, more kids in need will be served. If you take the time to invest in a child, to invest in an adolescent, to invest in a man, to invest in a parent, a student at any age, and you show them their full potential, the sky's the limit. And again, I just think Tim is the poster child for that. I think that it's the buffers that we provide these kids in life, you know, whether it be a mentor or a good school teacher or a caring parent, whatever it is, it's all these combinations of things that steer that kid down the right path, you know, or that get the kid off the bad path. And I, I just want to be one of those buffers.